I, I want to tell a personal story that uh, I've actually been working on writing about it and gathering a lot of photographs to remind, to jog my memory. Um, and it's, it, it takes, it goes from 1962 when I was 12 years old until 2015, this, this summer I turned 65. So that's a good long spread of time involving one activity that was very important to me then and now. And the reason I think um, I want to tell this story is because it applies directly to Creators Publishing and Sumner Books and the, the new business that we're going to build. Because what I've learned through this experience, um, the lessons I think we can apply directly to building our business. In fact, if I were to tell the story of building Creator Syndicate from, this, from scratch, I, I noticed as I was writing this and preparing it, it's exactly the same principles of success that, that led to our achievements. Uh, and same with any other category. So let me take you back to, uh, it was probably about February of 1962, probably before most of your parents were born, but uh, I was 12 years old in suburban Chicago riding my bicycle. And it had just thawed out, you know, from one of those uh, brutal winter day, winter months. And um, so I was riding my bicycle in a town called Wilmette, which is suburban Chicago. And there's a place called the Linden Street L. The L is in Chicago what in other cities they call a subway, but it's elevated uh, for much of, through much of the city. And so it's called the L. And the last stop on the L on the North Shore is the Linden Street L in Wilmette. So I rode my bike over because they had a great newsstand. And I was always interested in looking at the covers. And so I was looking at uh, covers of Boxing Illustrated and this is before the WWF, but wrestling and these guys like Gorgeous George would have, you know, blood flowing off their faces. And I thought it was so cool, you know, these gladiators uh, slugging it out. And then all of a sudden, I saw this bodybuilder, which I'd never seen before. And I thought, wow, what is that? And I bought the magazine. It's dated March 1963. So I was, I turned, uh, 13 that August. I was born in August. So I was 12 years old in March 19. And so this was February, a month earlier before the magazine came out. March 1963, and it was 35 cents. And I dug into my pocket and bought the magazine and said, I'm going to look like this guy. That is my goal. Nothing's going to stop me. I took it home, went up to my room, I started reading. I read every word. I bought a bunch of other magazines, muscle magazines. Then I discovered there was a fellow in downtown Chicago who was a Mr. America competitor. His name was Rock Stonewall. His real name was Jesse Stonewall, but he changed it to Rock. Stonewall wasn't enough. He needed to reinforce it. And um, so I asked my parents, I said, because remember, I'm 12. I, I didn't drive or whatever. So I asked my parents, I said, can we go down? Do you know where this is, 28 East Van Buren Street? And they said, yeah, that's, that's near, uh, my mom said, that's near where your father works. I said, well, can we go down and meet him? So she said, all right, and she, they arranged to have dinner on a Friday night, so she and I drove into the city. We picked up my dad at his office at the Chicago Sun-Times and uh, went over to 28 East Van Buren Street, and we met Rock Stonewall, who at the time I think was about a 25-year-old uh, vitamin health food store um, manager of the, of the health food store. And Rock could not have been nicer. That's what he looked like then. This was from a magazine. I think this was the picture I had seen in the magazine. He was at a department store. He took off his shirt and stood with these York barbells. And that's all natural. That's from hard work. And those are natural muscles, no steroids, no chemicals. Um, and he became my hero. And so I used to go downtown every Saturday to, to hang out with Rock Stonewall. Now, next door to Rock was a, was a building with a gym called Triumph Gym. And I remember going over there uh, with my parents, and they had this old-fashioned kind of elevator where you, you know, slide the things open, and it's very, we could, the three of us could barely fit in it. We'd go up four flights of stairs, four, four stories, and it took longer than it would have taken us to walk. Um, and the thing opens, and it's like almost kind of like an apartment, living room atmosphere, but it was a gym. And it was a Friday night, and all these guys are working out, and I thought, how could anybody enjoy a Friday night more than to work out in this gym? I mean, this was heaven to me. 
So I just, I then started reading Iron Man magazine, Muscle Builder and Power, Mr. America. And, you know, I remember my mom saying, uh, thank goodness for these muscle magazines, publishers like Joe Weider, because they taught Rick to read. He became a voracious <laughs> reader. I would read every classified ad, every, everything. And so when, you know, by the time 10 years later, or however many, yeah, 10 years later, I was graduating Phi Beta Kappa from college, and she was saying, it's all because of those muscle magazines that uh, got you started on reading. Um, that's an interesting story. I had lunch with Joe Weider, who was one of the publishers, one of the major publishers in the bodybuilding movement, and we syndicated his column, as you know. And so I was having lunch with him a few years before he died. He died, I think, at age 93. And I told him that story about how my mom said, you know, we have you to thank, Joe, for uh, Rick becoming such a voracious reader. And he said, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger's mom told a similar story. When Arnold was like 14 in Graz, Austria, <clears throat> and he would get the American muscle magazines, and he didn't speak English. And so he could see the pictures, you know, but he'd run over to his friends who, who could speak English and say, what does it say? What does it say? I've got to learn English. I've got to learn how to read. So to, to read his own muscle magazines, Arnold uh, really worked at that. And Joe had a great influence on both of us for our reading.